All right, let's do this. Number five, we have a few not top plays from the annual Boston Halloween softball tournament. Send the angry emails to me. It's all in good fun. They had costumes and a party out there at Canyon View Park this weekend. Number four, downtown Grand Junction held their annual spooktacular hundreds of ghosts and ghouls line Main Street to spend some quality haunted time with family and friends. Number three, Fruta's last game of the year against Aspen. Senior Hadley Bird, the Wildcats' leading scorer, steps up and just slots his 11th goal of the season home. That would be Fruta's his last goal of the season and Bird's last career goal for the Wildcats. They would go on to win four to nothing. Number two, it's all about second effort on homecoming for CMU. Isaac Maestas stopped just short of the goal line, so take two back to Maestas. This time spins in for six in the fourth rope rule. Gets crunched oh so close. You can see how close he was to attempt number two. Yeah, it's money. CMU wins big 58-21. Okay, so to the number one play of the weekend, let's check this out. Graham Valley's Caleb Frank on the kickoff return. Let's break out the broken tackle counter. He breaks one, two, there's number two, three, and four right there. Number five, and there's still one more to come, I think. Yep, there it is. Number six, he breaks six tackles on this run. A 93-yard kickoff return. What a run this is. And that was Graham Valley's only score of the night, but, man, was it a good one. And, folks... Those are your Western Slope's wildest weekend plays.